this is the St. Andrews State Park Campground map. And this was for our visit that was in January 2020. So what I want to point out to you is, first of all, this spot here, this is the campground that is open. These spots here are for the campground caretakers. From this point all the way over here, unfortunately, is all still closed due to Hurricane Michael. Um, hopefully they'll have that open soon. But some of the spots that I want to show you, that it, everything always with campgrounds, whether they're state parks or not, everything's always nicely detailed as, as if everything's just perfectly straight. Well, it's not. Some of these spots right here are actually kind of turned sideways where you're able to enjoy looking at the lagoon. So it's really difficult to tell even with a Google map. So hopefully some of our videos will give you some a little bit of an idea of what they look like as, as we tour through these. And we'll, we try to we try to go th drive through them where you can see some spots. Can't kind of give away all the details to as we respect others' privacy. Bathhouses, you got one or two of these are open. Excuse me, this one here. There's the laundry facilities, which were when we were there, brand new washer and dryer just got installed and they work fantastic, of course. They're on the women's side of the bathroom. You'll find those there. And this bathhouse here was they're both great, they're both clean. This one here is incredibly hot water, felt very rejuvenating. So now on the state park, on the end of this state park here is beautiful, beautiful trails. Of course, this map is not showing everything. Beautiful trails, you can go all the way to the end of the peninsula there, and that was just gorgeous. You highly recommend you check that out. We didn't get time to check everything out, but there's also uh, hiking trails around here uh, where there's gators. There's more trails here in the marsh areas. And then this road here leads back where there's multiple um, um, access points to the white sand beach, beautiful powder sand beaches, um, stores over here, showers for when you come out of the, when you come out of the ocean, uh, gift shops and food. I believe there's a concession stand there. And of course in the summer months it'll get more busier. There's a pier over here, uh, all kinds of stuff to do over there. And then when you come out here, and there's the main road, which, as you can see, is not on the map. There's the visitor center, which we highly recommend as well. There's a lot of great stuff for kids to learn in their learning center. So, hope this helps you out. And uh, just check out the rest of the video, and, and it'll help uh, familiarize yourself yourself with the with the uh, campground. Thanks for watching.
still lots of damage from the hurricane, such as this building here. That uh, roof's all caved in and we've got uh, barricades around it. I don't know if I don't know if this is the trash man that likes to show up at 3.50 in the morning, but be warned that there's two dumpsters in the, uh, the half the campground that's open right now. And uh, they get they get emptied at 3.50 in the morning. So some, uh, some heads up that you might want to know about uh, if that bothers you. Um, yeah, here's, here's the marina. So this place is, uh, you can tell it was very beautiful. Um, I don't know what the holdup is. On repairs, I guess it's financial is what it's saying. They have um, boat rentals here and they have golf cart rentals as well. Um, I believe that golf carts are allowed in here, I just don't know if they charge you extra for that. Here's a camp store. We haven't been in there yet. We're kind of busy. It's not open all the time, it's open now. And then let's go over to the beach area. Very, uh, you're about to see how bumpy it is. It's really, I know there's a deer feeding out of someone's hand up there in the car. Can't really see very well, but here you go. With the staff, the first person that helped us out that night, she was having sent, but there was some bumps. Um, there's supposed to be alligators out here, especially on this side. We haven't checked this out yet. We should do that right now. Take a look at this little area. The next segment you're going to see is uh, us checking it out. Alright, this is the little walkway that we just showed you. It's called Gator Lake. They have these signs all over. Um, we have yet to see an alligator, but I assume that there are a good chance of it. This is uh, the self-guided nature trail. I guess it goes around the lake. We have a little observation deck over here. Somebody comes along, picks up that shell, and goes, Man, that looks like a perfect digger. Here's part of that um, little nature trail. The sand and underneath some oak trees. Right along Gator Lake. Very neat looking. Moss. That's the weird thing about it. A gator could be right there. Yeah, absolutely. One could. Wait for you to get close enough. <laughs> so, the lady that you just heard talking when we were out there on the deck, she's a volunteer who um, shows you some of the things found here in nature and just kind of talks about the park a little bit. section of the uh, hiking trail.
here and do a day pass, you know, and enjoy the beach area. Um, and this is included with your camping to have this access. There's um, modern restrooms. I think that during the season, there's even a little restaurant or concession over there. We have a lot of these, uh, these are over, overlook points, not necessarily access to the beach. Just walk up and overlook the beach. That one there is no beach access um, observation point. Beach access is actually um, through, through this. this building. There's a gazebo, and you can drop down there or over here on the other end. You can drop down. Uh, the beach access has like what's a little, looks like kind of a lagoon area, and then the actual beach where the waves come crashing. Um, we'll show that in videos too. one of the beach access points from St. Andrews State Park. Pull over there. You can come for day use only for camp. I can see it. <laughs> you almost fell down. That reminds me of Joe and Cheyenne the first time they got me up. Sand, it does move. <laughs> <laughs> This is an old uh, gun chart that whenever the, sometimes it gets buried under the sand, but 
you know, then the water comes and cleans it off and you can see it sometimes. So this is right here on the beach in uh, Panama City. Pretty cool. I believe that we said that it was from World War One. So very cool. That's where we're at. The spot is beautiful. Hey kiddo, what's up? You guys hungry? They don't even really care that. All these are sitting right here. Do you, do you like dog food? Aldi doesn't even want his treats, kiddo. to the beach area and this is um, obviously group camping area it's just kind of tucked away in the middle of all these trees and away from the road but close enough that you can hear all the waves um, I'm gonna guess that that is a porta potty over there but this is pretty neat Unfortunately, um, we can't go and check that out at the moment either. Um, looks like it's still got damage from Hurricane Michael, I'm assuming, because this park received a lot of damage. But looks like it would have been kind of neat to check out. So another really cool thing about St. Andrew State Park is that um, Shell Island is part of it and they um, have a shuttle that takes you across to Shell Island. Um, it's supposed to be lots of beautiful shell hunting and you can snorkel over there with manatees and it's just supposed to be some beautiful waters. Unfortunately right now the shuttle is not running so we weren't able to go check that out. But you can also um, do boat rentals and kayak rentals. Um, looks like some of the boats that you can rent are the pontoons. I see some over there with double slides on it. And here is a pier that you can fish off of as well. And this is all right here in the marina at the park. Three or four of them that are popping out of the 
start like now. Except for this guy over here. He doesn't seem to be scared at all. He's just been busy making little balls of sand. <laughs> 